This is a case presentation about candidiasis. A 45 years old male with chief complaint burning sensation of tongue and cheek. His medical history, chronic headache, chronic jaw pain, dizziness, weakness, insomnia, night sweats. Intraoral exam is, reveals erysematous patches on the right and left retro commissioner areas extending about 2 cm posteriorly into the buccal mucosa and 2 cm superiorly and inferiorly. Intraoral erysematous area was superimposed with nodular white projections that were non scrapable similar patches was present on the palate a non scrapable hyperkeratotic patch measuring 1 by 1 cm was also present on the dorsum of the tongue angular colitis was present bilaterally on the lip commissioners multiple teeth were found to be missing the remaining teeth had bad and poor periodontal status. What is our plan? Exfoliative smear was obtained and results came back showing candida infection. What is the treatment? Clotrimazole and topical anesthetic was prescribed and follow up in two weeks. Two weeks follow up. Lesions on the right and left buccal mucosa showed improvement within 14 days. However, no improvement was seen on the palate and tongue. When the patient failed to respond to treatment, an underlying immunodeficiency was suspected. On being questioned about his lifestyle, patient admitted having unprotected sex with multiple partners. This prompted an HIV ELISA test which returned as positive. Confirmatory tests performed for HIV were positive and CD4 count was 272 cells per cubic millimeter. Thus, Oral candidiasis revealed the underlying HIV infection following which the patient was managed with appropriate systemic antifungals, ketoconazole along with topical antifungals, clotrimazole and appropriate antiretroviral therapy. What's HIV? It is an infection characterized by progressive immunosuppression due to low absolute CD4 counts. The clinical consequences of HIV infection encompass a spectrum ranging from an acute syndrome associated with primary infection to prolonged asymptomatic state to advanced disease, which is in Table 1. The oral health status of HIV infected patient at presentation is an extremely important parameter as it may reveal important information regarding the immune status of the individual. Oral disorders occur in about 64 to 80% of cases and may present as a wide range of lesions, notably fungal, viral, and bacterial infection. Malignant neo neoplasms such as Kaposi sarcoma and non-specific presentations such as abscess ulceration and salivary gland disease as would be expected in severe defect of T lymphocyte mediated immunity. Factors which predispose expression of oral lesions include CD4 counts less than 200 cells per cubic millimeter. Viral load greater than 3,000 copies per milliliter, xerostomia, poor oral hygiene, and smoking. This is the counts of the CDT cell if it is 
less than five hundred per cubic milliliter shows the uh, asymptomatic case of A1 B1 would be symptomatic and if it is C1 it is AIDS indicator and so on HIV the oral candidiasis occurs in 17 to 43 percent of cases with HIV infection and in more than 90 percent of cases with AIDS oropharyngeal candidiasis is among the initial manifestations of HIV induced immunodeficiency and typically affects the majority of persons with advanced untreated HIV infection presenting months or years before more severe opportunistic infections it may be a centennial event indicating the presence or progression of HIV disease. What's Candida albicans forms? Pseudomembranous candidiasis, hyperplastic candidiasis, erythematous candidiasis, and angular chelitis. In AIDS patients, the pseudomembranous form of candidiasis is most common, while in patients infected with HIV, the erythematous type is dominant as was seen in the present case. Erythematous candidiasis presents as red macular lesions typically on the palate and dorsum of the Pseudomembranous candidiasis appears as a creamy white curd like plaques on the buccal mucosa, tongue and other oral mucosal surfaces that can be wiped away leaving a red or bleeding underlying surface while the hyperplastic type of oral candidiasis is characterized by white plaques that cannot be removed by scrubbing and is common in the buccal mucosa angular colitis presents as cracking peeling or ulceration involving the corners of the mouth and is frequently present in combination with other forms of candidiasis. Conclusion Oral lesions serve as early marker for HIV infection. The dentist must be well aware of the characteristics and presentation of the manifestations of HIV infection, thus enabling early identification of the disease, ensuring timely initiation of therapy. Candida infection may often be the first clinical sign of HIV infection. The presence of oral candidiasis without a local cause, such as xerostomia or therapy with antimicrobials, corticosteroids, or other immune suppressive drugs in a person who otherwise appears healthy, should prompt investigation into lifestyle and other factors pertaining to the risk of HIV infection.